San Francisco 49ers. They're back. I think. I mean, uh-huh. they had a rough year last year. Mm-hmm. But they draft Trey Lance. They traded a fuck ton to get up there to pick three. So you obviously must believe in this guy. And he looks exceptionally talented. I mean, that's the first thing. There's a QB battle going on. Trey Lance versus Jimmy Garoppolo, who got them to a Super Bowl. That is a guy who will get hurt. So if he does start the season, I'm sure Trey Lance is going to play. But um, keep an eye on that. I really feel like at this point, when you make that investment, and Kyle Shanahan's a QB guru, and they got everything on that team. They got everything. They are the most balanced roster in this division and one of the most balanced in the NFL when you eliminate quarterback because that's the question mark with the team. Yeah. Quarterback and health. They return almost everybody to health. They were so hurt last year, okay? Um, so they are the most balanced team in the division, right? You guys would agree? Yeah. yeah. I'm, and my thing is, too, with Jimmy G, and this goes to me having George Kittle second, um, I just think that if Jimmy G can stay healthy, him and – Kittle are like, like brothers, and don't forget, they love each other. Don't forget they went to the Super Bowl two years ago. Yeah, too. so and I think that's being overlooked. Mm-hmm. And I think Muhammad Sanu actually, I think, will have value in that locker room with the young receivers, with Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk, and even Trey Lance because he's a professional and he can show them how to be professionals. So I really like them. Um, I don't really think it's a QB battle. I don't think Trey Lance is going to start the year. Um, I, I don't even if he did, I don't think that would be smart. Oh man, he's making it tough though. He yeah, is. that four for fifteen performance was fantastic. <laughs> Bro, he, but uh, I'm telling you right now, uh, word out of camp. Facts. But no, so my thing is, is he word hasn't played football in a year. So I just don't think I wouldn't I wouldn't throw him into that fire. Now, granted, the last time he played, he had I think like twenty eight touchdowns and zero interceptions. Actually, I think it was two years. It's been two years now. He played in yeah, he played in two thousand nineteen <laughs> and then two thousand twenty was COVID. But I, I, I think the 49ers are going to be really good. They were just hurt last year, and they got completely like wiped off the face of the earth, and that's not the case. It was just injuries. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Mike on that. I mean, I think Jimmy G, if, if he is the quarterback, I'm not worried about the Niners at all. I think they're going to be still very, very tough, and they're going to be very good. Um, Trey Lance, cool. He had a great preseason game. Cool. But – don't forget, 2011, Ryan Mallett was considered the sleeper <laughs> of that draft, and he his cleats didn't even get dirty. So <sighs> I'll be honest with you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna hold that opinion on uh, Trey Lance until I see more. Well, I, I got I to gotta see more than a preseason game. I'm not, I'm, I don't put value into that shit. I, I, don't. I don't either, but I just want to say that there's a very realistic chance that he starts. I think more than any of us were accounting for. And if you asked me, I would have said Jimmy G would be starting the year. But, man, I just it's, it's going to be tough. I'm just telling you that right now. I think that they won't drop off much. Um, let's say they start the year with Jimmy G. I think they should still start off the year pretty well. But at some point, he will get banged up because that's just his nature. Um, but I feel like everybody's underestimating Jimmy G. He can I feel like he's not trash, and I feel like he's being talked about like he's trash. Like, just because you're injury-prone doesn't mean you're no. trash. It just means you get injured. I mean, he he, so, he showed some issues last year when he did play. However, the guy did get him to the Super Bowl. You can't discount and he, it. And he was an overthrow away from giving them the lead. I know. Literally. I'm just That's saying, all it was. Like, now, granted, he, he did overthrow him, but if he hits, if he hits Emmanuel Sanders in the hands— Mahomes will be 0-2 in the Super Bowl. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Let me drink yeah. some, some take a sip of that. Yeah. Yeah. Best Cheers. player in the NFL. Cheers, I'm buddy. not tolerating that bullshit. Um, Trey Hill. Lance, though, if he does start the year, Nick's laughing. Oh, man. When we talk about Tom Brady, it always gets heated, and that's with all of us acknowledging <laughs> he's the GOAT. Like, two of us here, two of the three of us, literally did not have Tom Brady as our GOAT in – previous uh the best years ever. Don't and we question. both you know better i conformed both, we both acknowledge that so there's nothing i can say anymore i can't say anything it. anymore nick's gonna defend this guy every time but listen if trey lance starts the year even if he doesn't this is a guy who literally could be a league winner fantasy option that's how dynamic he is he's got everything he's got brandon Ayuk, who we've already talked about in the past as being one of those guys that could ascend into the better receivers in the league. He is incredible. Um, he's extremely dynamic. They're going to use him in all sorts of ways, and he already showed it with 
with literally nothing at QB last year. Yeah. Um, Debo Samuel is another one. They're almost cut from the same cloth. He's like built like a running back. He's going to catch a lot of passes, um, short spaces, but he could take it the distance, that kind of guy. George Kittle is right up there in the tight end argument. I love George There's Kittle There's nothing year. different about George Kittle. He's healthy. You should trust him. He's a freaking monster. So is Ayuk. He's Iuke. a beast. And Ayuk is so good. I love Ayuk. I so really do I. Do too. Mo Sanu, though, that was a good point, Mike. He could be a low-key, uh, kind of a slot guy, reliable pass-catching veteran. Good on the gonna... sideline, good in camp, good in practice. Well, the last time he was any good, guess who his offensive coordinator was? Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan in Atlanta. Now, there's one thing I want to note, though, that no one talked about yet. Mostert. Mostert's a stud. Beast. He would, be, he would be a top 10 running back if he stays healthy. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy he speed. He was cooking last year. Easy speed. Absolutely cooking. And he's a perfect fit for this system. But he Trey Sermon, though, run. Trey Sermon was a nice pick. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a nasty one-two punch, I think. I mean, they always have used a running back rotation, and these guys maintain relevance because... They're just a phenomenal rushing attack. They're probably the best rushing team in the league. Facts. And their offensive line, awesome. Awesome. They're back at full strength. It's their arguable. offensive line is awesome. It's arguable. But um, it's the best running scheme. Yeah. Not even a question. Yeah, I, I do like their scheme. I like I like Shanahan's offense. He's, he gets, he gets creative. He, he gets gadgets, plays, gets his tight ends involved. He is what the Eagles thought Chip Kelly was going to be. I mean, <laughs> look at look at the wide receivers they have. Debo, Samuel, and Ayuk. They can all do those gadget plays. You know what I mean? And then they have fast running backs. They got Kittle. I, I They're loaded. I know. I like they're them back. a lot. They're I really back. do like them a lot. Yeah. But I want to point out one thing that is not getting talked about, even though they have a ton of defensive talent, too. I mean, you get Nick Bosa back, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Who, oh, my God. The Bosa brothers Certified are nasty, yeah. nasty. Um, but I want to point out, new defensive coordinator, guys. No one's talking about Robert Sala leaving for the Jets' head coaching job. He was absolutely, if not the best, one of the top few best defensive coordinators in the league. He's awesome, man. I'm but happy for him. And the respected. Jets. They have one of the best linebacking cores in the league, led by Fred Warner. Um, I'm not worried about the defense because they are so loaded. Like, at least, you know, like the, the Rams and... 49ers have changed there, but the 49ers defense now has more talent. The Rams lost a number of names this year. The 49ers are just stacked. Look out, like, and here we are again. Now I'm talking myself back into that, you know, oh, man, I'm torn over these teams. But do you guys want to add any of the points about I think this the, team? my only concern with the Niners would be their corners. Um, That's, that's really it. You know, in division – Going against DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, Cooper Cup, and uh, Robert Woods, that could be trouble for them. And also D Hop and uh, AJ Green, right? Your boy AJ Green. Well, I guess uh, the hope would be in that case that the pass rush would we'll have to get there. I mean, right. the pass rush is nasty. Oh, it's there. So. It's definitely there. I just worry about their their corners, honestly. But other than that, though, I mean, they can be had. <laughs> Facts. They got Emmanuel Mosley and Jason Verrett, who are kind of like, they could be awesome, but is Jason Verrett going to stay healthy? That's the question of his career. He's always <clears> been a stud. Um, but, I mean, even in safety, they got Jimmy Ward and Jaquaski Tart. Uh, they got Eric Armstead at defensive end. These are, these are guys that aren't household names that are studs. No one even realized that. They drafted Javon Kinlaw. He's going to start right away at defensive tackle. Um. They're just loaded. And, I mean, I guess it's fair to point out when we mentioned the offensive line. They got they signed Alex Mack, who's been a stud at center. He's been the anchor in Atlanta for, for years. Yeah. So he's always been good. He was good before he was a Falcon. Yeah, hey, he was on the Browns. Exactly. Yeah. So he can still play. And, and for what it's worth, you got to mention Kyle Juszczyk at fullback. He's used in a number of different ways. He's he's the best fullback in the league. Oh, they also he, signed uh... – Ha ha, Clinton Dix. <laughs> it's the best name of all time. Wonder if he makes the team, honest to God. I love that name. It's a hell of a name. And oh, they got Michael Kendricks, too. But anyway. I think uh, we're all in agreement with the Niners, though. They'll yeah, be, they'll they're be awesome. Team. Yep. So another playoff team.